Hi, my name is Juji Morales and I am an author and an illustrator. I love making picture books and today we are going to read a book I illustrated and I wrote titled Dreamers. This is the story of a mom and her baby who were born in one place and then one day they came to the United States and they became immigrants. I am an immigrant too because I was born in Mexico and one day I came to the United States with my baby. Perhaps you're an immigrant as well if you were born in a different place and now you live here you might be an immigrant. This is a story where you are going to see some words in English and some words in Spanish. You are also going to see some animals. Let me know if you see them. There are three animals who are immigrants too. Let's see if you can find them. And if you are ready, we are going to start reading Dreamers. And it begins like this. Dreamers by Yuji Morales. I dream of you, then you appear. Together we became amor, love, amor. Resplendent life, you and I. One day we bundled gifts in our backpack and crossed the bridge outstretched like the universe. Can you see their presence that they put in their backpack? And when we made it to the other side, thirsty, in awe, unable to go back, we became immigrants. Migrantes, you and I, the sky and the land, welcome us in words unlike those of our ancestors. Can you see the mom's face? Do you think that she looks worried maybe? What do you think about the baby? Does he look different? Does he look happy or curious? Let's see what happens. There were so many things we didn't know. Unable to understand and afraid to speak, we made lots of mistakes. Now, remember I told you that I made the drawings for this book? Well, I put these drawings here because those were mistakes that I did too. When I had just arrived to the United States, I didn't speak English, so I couldn't understand when other people spoke in English to me. So you see here, here is a mom and she has a telephone on her, in her hand and she looks worried. When I had arrived to the United States, I looked just like worried like her. If my phone rang, I didn't want to answer because I knew I wasn't going to be able to understand what people told me. And I put this drawing here because I also once um, had a hard time understanding that if I got into the train, what the station I needed to get off because there was a map and I knew I could use the map, but I couldn't understand the map because it was written in English and I could not understand it. And I also put this drawing here in this book because I made this mistake too. One day I went to the fountain with my baby and we were splashing and bathing and just having fun inside and then a police person came and told me that we needed to get out because at that moment I couldn't understand that I wasn't allowed to be in the fountain with my baby. So this mother who cannot speak the language and she cannot understand it, the only thing that she can say is, I... I, I. You and I became caminantes. Thousands and thousands of steps we took around this land until the day we found a place we had never seen before. Suspicious. 
improbable. Unbelievable. Surprising. Unimaginable. Can you tell what place is this? You probably know already. Where we didn't need to speak, we only needed to trust, and we did. It is a public library. And you see, here, this woman is giving something to the baby. What do you think it is? Do you know library cards? Because if you know library cards, you know that they are like magic. That with library cards, you can do a lot of things like taking books home that you love. So this baby is receiving his first library card. I can tell that they are happy. You know how you can tell that they are very, very happy? Because even the sun is coming out of their backpack. Books became our language. Books became our home. Books became our lives. We learned to read, to speak, to write, and to make our voices heard. Someday, we will become something we haven't even yet imagined. But right now, we are stories. We are two languages. We are lucha. We are resilience. We are hope. We are dreamers, soñadores of the world. We are love, amor, love. And here in Mexico, when we finish a story, we always say like this. We say, y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. And that means this is the end of our story. Now that we have read Dreamers together, I have some questions for you. Have you ever been in a situation where maybe because you don't speak the language or for another reason, people don't understand what you say or what you are doing? How have you feel when that happens? When I thought about writing Dreamers, I didn't know if I should write my own story. I was thinking like, oh no, my story is, is not something that was spectacular. Who is going to want to read my story? And I thought maybe people are going to be bored of my story. And then I realized that I don't need permission for, from anyone to tell my story. That my story is beautiful and interesting and just my story and that I needed to tell it. I needed to be able to put it in a place where I could share it with others. Have you ever wanted to share your own story? Because I'm sure that your story is worth to be put in a book too. I love to make books and I tell stories through the books. You can make a book too, a book where you could put your story. In that book, you can write anything you want because your story is yours. You can put words, you can put drawings, you can put empty spaces, you can put colors, anything you want and it will be your story. I would love to read that book one day. I would love to see what you create when you try to tell the story, when you try to um, let us know and share the things that you have felt, the things that you have lived, and the things that you want us to know about you. It was a pleasure reading Dreamers with you today, and I hope that one day I'm gonna read your story as well. This is Gigi Morales, and I thank you for being here. Hasta la próxima. Bye.